Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to six here, back with the 2004 Toyota Sequoia. And today we're gonna be installing this Arxon roof rack. One of the biggest racks they got out there. So we're gonna go ahead, it's gonna fill up the roof area. Really great here on this Sequoia. We're gonna go ahead and start assembling and we'll get it throwing on here. Hope you guys enjoy. Arxon roof rack. This is one of the uh, biggest ones I could find within my budget. This is the 84 inch by 50 inch by 6 inch roof rack. It's going to fill up that roof area real nice and uh, won't break the bank. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the instructions. And I'm going to go ahead and not bore you guys here with assembling the roof rack here. Just uh, follow the easy install guides here. You know, nothing too complicated. Just go ahead and follow the instructions and put together your roof rack. Right, first thing we want to do is come up here to the roof of the Sequoia. We want to go ahead and loosen these knobs right here for these crossbars for the roof rail. We will need to adjust them to accommodate the distance on the roof rack. So just go ahead and loosen up all four of those adjustment knobs. We'll go ahead and try to get this roof rack on. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab some packing blankets here. We're going to go ahead and drape them over the roof of the Sequoia so we don't scratch it while we're trying to install the roof rack. We got the packing blankets draped over the top of the Sequoia. Next, we're going to go ahead and just lean the roof rack on the side. We're going to pick it up. It is light enough and just put it on the top. All right, here we go. Time to put the rack on. Right, light enough to get up there by yourself. We got the roof rack on top of the Sequoia. Next thing we're gonna do is just hold this roof rack up a little bit and we're gonna pull the packing blanket out from underneath the roof rack. Got the packing blankets removed. This is what it looks like on the roof of the Sequoia. Now for the crossbars, you will have to get them between these smaller pieces of metal right here. So there are three pieces to this rooftop basket. And you'll see right here, it's bigger here than it is here, so the roof rack clamps will have to clamp to the smaller portion of the roof rack, and that goes for the same on the front, so just make sure you go ahead and space your um, crossbars accordingly for your clamps. As you can see here, we have plenty of room, so when we have ratchet straps or anything holding you know, stuff inside the roof basket, it won't hit the spoiler. Next, we're going to be installing the roof rack uh, crossbar clamps. So, we want to go ahead and just look at the back of the instructions here. It shows you exactly how to install them. So, let's go ahead and get them installed. All right, we got this crossbar clamp on. We're going to leave it loose for now. So, if we need to do any adjustments to the roof rack, we can. All right, let's repeat the process to the other three clamps. All right, we got all the crossbar clamps tightened down. We got all the screws for the rail tightened. You can see this basket is on here pretty good. All right, we got the arcs and roof basket installed. We got all four crossbar clamps tightened down. Here's what it looks like along the roof line of the Sequoia. Nice large roof basket. It's exactly what we were looking for. Going to be able to store tons of luggage and equipment up there for camping, spare tires, whatever you need. Great budget roof rack. If you're looking for this, there will be a link down in the description. Let's go ahead and put the sunroof on tilt. Still have plenty of room.
All right, hope you all enjoyed the arcs and roof rack install. Like I said, if you want to purchase one of these, there will be a link down in the description. And always, Monday to 6, out.